Welcome to the Tuesday, March 27th edition of William & Mary Television's Flat Hat Insider. I'm Lauren Stevenson. Move over Generation X and Y, there's a new kid on the block. The boomerang generation has become an increasingly popular label for the current generation of young adults since a large number of college students graduate and look for work, only to move back to mom and dads. According to a study by the Pew Research Center, three in ten young adults ages 25 to 34 have returned home out of financial necessity, 61 percent saying they have acquaintances who have moved back in with their parents. While the struggling economy is ultimately the culprit for the lack of post-graduation job options, seniors also named majors as the most common common indicator of job search success. The William & Mary student accused of raping another student intends to sue his accuser for defamation. Jeffrey Weaver, a 27-year-old who enrolled at the college after serving in the Iraq War, was arrested October 17th after a female student accused him of raping her in her dorm room. Weaver claims the intercourse was consensu consensual. He was suspended from the college and must apply for readmittance, even though all charges have filed against him have been dropped. He plans to sue his accuser for $6 million in damages. He says he has become depressed and withdrawn after he was accused of rape and subsequently named in 17 stories in the media, including the flat hat. Starting this fall semester, the college's science departments will now be charging a student lab fee. The different departments collaborated and decided fees would be the best approach to continue providing a quality laboratory experience. Currently, many popular labs such as general chemistry only charge for broken equipment, while some other more advanced labs like anatomy charge fees to cover expensive materials for cadavers. Under the new system, the chemistry department will charge $70 per lab, the kinesiology department will charge $28 per lab, and the geology department will increase from $10 to $15. This past Saturday, the William & Mary Campus Ministries and the Society of St. Andrew held its 12th annual potato drop. The groups with assistance of volunteers helped distribute an 18-wheeler filled with 50 pounds of potatoes, which were donated by a farm with surplus. The recipients included a variety of different organizations, such as the Food Bank of the Virginia Peninsula, the Central Food Bank of Virginia, and many small church-operated food programs. For more stories, pick up the latest edition of the Flat Hat and check us out on our website, flathatnews.com. And be sure to follow William & Mary Television and the Flat Hat on Twitter and like us on Facebook. We'll see you next week for another edition of the Flat Hat Insider.